Hey, hey what's going on dudes and dudettes? I'm actually uh, leaving work right now. Um, it's a little bit late, but uh, after the time change, but I'm leaving work. I've just been working my uh, working my tail off. Again, I don't like uh, putting out videos with no fish in them. I did try to put in um, just some more information about how to catch surf perch. Um, if that's something you want to see, great. If not, that's okay too. I just, again, I hate getting into YouTube videos that I watch where there's some sort of a false promise. I'm not gonna be doing that to you guys. So click the thumbs up button or leave a comment. Uh, that would be great. Uh, otherwise, enjoy the video. Thanks guys. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm just out here just doing a little bit of perch fishing or I guess whatever I catch, but um, I brought uh, the Berkeley Gulf sandworms. I also brought the, uh, the curly tail grubs. I also brought like a, uh, a little, uh, I forget what it is, like a one ounce iron I might check out there uh, if nothing else is working. Uh, I did not bring any Lucky Crafts today. This is just more of a, kind of an easy fishing day. Get out here for a few minutes before sunset. Of course, stupid helicopter. Um, that's about it. I'll keep the intro short. Let's get fishing. All right, guys, I'm gonna start off with, uh, with Old Faithful. Berkeley Gulp Sandworms, the uh, the two inch. Um, what I've noticed works best on these is the uh, the camo color. There you go, camo. So yeah, give that a shot. If you're uh, if you've watched my videos, you already know this setup. So fast forward about 15 seconds. But if you haven't, the way to do it is the easiest way to perch fish out here in the surf. I don't even use a bead. I know a lot of guys do. I know a lot of guys swear, use a bead. I just do a half ounce sinker and then I go to a barrel swivel and then I go down. I try to keep it, um, I try to keep it two feet or under, usually about 18 inches on the leader. I usually start off with two foot leader just so that way as it kind of gets snagged on things, I need to trim the line. I still have some room and I don't have to retie the entire leader down to the swivel. So just, just something to keep in mind, sort of a uh, preparation ahead of time is, you know, make sure your fishing day goes smoother. So then yeah, just down to the, uh, I use a size, uh, size six bait holder hook, and then I just go ahead and string the worm on there. I try to get it as straight as possible. This is sort of a bad example of that. I didn't do a very good job today, but. All right. I get asked quite a bit what kind of pliers I use. I just use uh, medical forceps. You can get them uh, super cheap on Amazon or anywhere online. Sort of a random factoid for you guys. For what it's worth, I always try to uh, pack light. That way I can move up and down the beach as much as possible and not have too much gear to deal with. First cast. No luck there. You know the name of the game. Move down the beach, find another hole. Looks like a nice hole right out here. Some of you know, some of you don't, so I'll say it again. Always scan for a hole. A hole you can tell, because the waves, see how the waves sort of, there's a break in the middle. The white water kind of stays separated in certain areas, how the white water on that little tiny wave right here is just dying. That's where you know there's a hole. Sometimes that means structure. Sometimes that's just a hole on a sandy beach, but regardless, call it structure, call it what you want. Typically, that's where a fish will be. Not a fish, but multiple fish, hopefully, with any luck. And you just look for those on the beach, just sort of the, uh, the break in the surf. In the holes, that's where the fish like to be. Fish generally are semi-lazy creatures. They don't want to have to fight with strong current all the time. They need a break just, you know, just like any, any animal would. Oh, I got a nibble right there. Just in like a foot of water, foot and a half of water. Plant fish. I was kind of doing my weekend thing. I was playing a little catch up. And uh, I watch uh, Rodney Marquez, I'm, I'm sure most of you guys watch that, probably subscribe to his channel, just being he's a local dude. Um, he was talking about perch fishing in the surf. And not that he's wrong about anything, I mean, not that at all. I mean, he's probably way more experienced at it than I am, but 
He was talking about how he uses a three foot leader. I've never found that a three foot leader, and I have tried it many times, I've never found that works very well for me. And maybe it's because I'm not typically fishing super, super sandy bottom beaches and I'm fishing things with like actual reef and things like that. I've just found a three foot leader is too long. I get it caught up, knotted up. It gets snagged more often. It gets wound up in the rocks out in the surf. So do what you like, but it's not a, not a correction of any kind. Everybody, you know, has their thing. I'm not sure that two foot versus three foot works better. You know, maybe, maybe three foot's great for, for where, you know, he's fishing, but I don't know. I just, for me, doesn't, doesn't quite work as well. At least I just, I deal with more knots and that's kind of, kind of what can ruin your fishing day. Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, I stepped up my, uh, my line a little bit, you know, I, it's super fun to use really, really light tackle, especially when you're perch fishing. So, you know, for, for years and years and years, I've always used either six or eight pound main line with a four or six pound leader. And I've stepped it up. I'm just, today I got lazy. I'm using 10 pound line, just a 10 pound leader, same line. With the, uh, the Carolina rig setup I described earlier, so. I'm just kind of noticing, feels to me like hashtag perch don't care. I might be wrong, but I've still been landing some uh, good sized perch with uh, a couple different heavier line setups lately. Hey guys, I switched up my game a little bit. We haven't had very big uh, sand crabs or AKA mole crabs lately, but found a fatty. So hooked him on there, just up through the back. Cast him out there, see if we get a nibble. So it's nice to find something kind of neat on the beach since uh, all I'm catching is giant chunks of seaweed everywhere. It's this. This is what they refer to as the salad bar. It may just be one of those days, guys. At least I'm getting to enjoy a beautiful sunset. Running out of things in my arsenal. Oh, got a bite right there, finally. I think with the surf being up, it's just kicking up, you know, kicking up lots of kelp, strong current. Makes the fishing tough, not just from a standpoint of snagging it, but when the water's full of junk, the fish sort of, I mean, they don't want to have to swim around to avoid it all. So, I mean, I don't know if that's a factor if I just made that up, but either way, it sounds about right. I feel like I heard that somewhere. There we go, yet another cast of Salad Bar. Sorry. For what? Oh, not at all. No, no, not at all. I'm not catching anything anyways, you know? It's like, if I was a seaweed fisherman, I'd be having a really good day right about now, you know? All right, guys, well, before I completely run out of light and the camera can't see me anymore, uh, that's gonna do it. I'm gonna wrap it up. I uh, basically caught nothing. <laughs> so it happens, so that's, you know, that's, that's the way it goes sometimes. They call it fishing, not catching, you know, whatever saying you want to say. 
and let me know what you guys think about the uh, the leader thing if you guys like a longer leader put it in the comments below let us know why if you like a shorter leader let us know why too i kind of tend to do a shorter leader so i'm curious to see what your thoughts are on it see uh you know see what works best I did get two solid bites, um, just those little like machine gun style taps that perch do. So, I mean, they're out here. They're, they're definitely swimming around out here. Just uh, apparently something's wrong with me. Thanks again for tuning in. If you haven't already, I'd love your subscription to the channel. And that's it, guys. Late.